Assalamu alaikum friend today I'm going to show you how to install JFLAP to run Automata first of all search Oracle on YouTube on Google go to Oracle website then click on download section here you can see download section here after clicking downloads go to java se after going java se you can see we need jdk download so click on jdk download after that click on accept license agreement after that we need to download jre or JSE for 32 bit or 64 bit here two versions are available this is 32 bit version and this is 64 bit version if you are using Windows 32 bit you need to download 32 bit or if you are using 64 bit Windows you need to download 64 bit version how to check 32 you are using 32 bit or 64 bit here you can see it is 64 bit operating system so I need to download 64 bit version this is 64 bit version so I need to download this ok it is downloading after completing I will resume the video now it is downloaded you can see here I will install you just need to click on next 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 like this next next it will automatically will be installed after that you just you need to download jflab so go to jflab.org or search jflab on google you can see here it is get jflab click on fill out this form you just need to go down and write the captcha and click on submit after that click here to download jflab all the available versions are here so we will download the 7.0 version jflab 7.0 version click on jflab.jar to download jflab it is downloading i already downloaded so i don't need to download you can see our uh, java is installing after installing i will show you how to run jflab I will resume the video after completing this procedure now you can see it is about to finish after this installation I will open jflab ok close in download section I already downloaded jflab I will move this to desktop I will open you can see you it is <laughs> running now I will show you in my next video how to uh, make some automata FAs and we will convert into regular expression or we will input something and uh, it will solve our problem thank you for watching